people! I'm Allison. Welcome back to AKN Books. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite books I read in 2018. You guys like this Ariana Grande look I'm doing? Not really hard. It just reminded me of Ariana Grande because it's really high and it goes to the sides of her head. <laughs> I haven't finished reading for the year yet. I My reading goal this year was 38 books and right now I'm at 35 and I have like I have over a week left to read three books. I can do that Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So far I've read 35 and I'm gonna name six of my favorite books because I went through the whole list and I'm like eh 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 they're all okay but then I'm like oh favorites. Here we go. Number one on this list is Perfectly Yourself by Matthew Kelly. This book was very, I, I really needed this book when I read it as I did a book talk about it. You can see this on my channel but it really just like lifted me up and told me all these things I needed to know. It's just one of my favorites because it was really uplifting and it was like one of the first like religious faithful books I read and I really loved it. So favorite. Okay, number two is The Little Prince. Bam! I read The Little Prince in a bookstore this year because it was a pretty short read and I like didn't want to buy it but I was like no, oh, so I'll just read it in the bookstore. Oops, sorry. But it was just one of those books that like gives you perspective and has the thoughts you think in your head written on paper and you're like, yes, this is it. So it was really special in that way and I really like the illustrations too. Next up is The Next Person You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. So, um, as you've, maybe if you've watched like any of my other videos or even the one from last week or a couple weeks ago, you know that I like Mitch Album. This was highly anticipated read. You know, I didn't expect anything less from it. It was fantastic. If you haven't read it, read The Five People We Meet in Heaven and then read The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. Well, next on this list is Have a Little Faith, which is something I read this month. And it was another Mitch Album book as you can see. So I, yeah, I read two Mitch album books this year, the two last ones I hadn't read, and they both pleased me so much. They were so good. Have a Little Faith is like one of his older books, but hadn't read it yet. It was a memoir, so that's probably why it took me longer to read it, but it surprised me by being awesome. It was so good. Also made me cry, like all Mitch album books. Ha ha ha, look at the other videos. But yeah, Have a Little Faith and The Next Person You Meet in Heaven were both marvelous picks, marvelous reads. I definitely recommend any Mitch album book. I will keep saying that. If you're annoyed by me, sorry, just read a Mitch album book and I'll be pleased. Thank you. Okay, so next up is Good Morning, Good Night by Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's not poetry, it's not a book, but it's like little pep talks, kind of like it's of all of Lin-Manuel Miranda's tweets of the past and he just put them in a book because people were asking him to put them in a book and it was very, very nice. And it was just what you needed. They're a perfect pep talk. If you're, if someone's like, hey, do you want to read a book of pep talks? You're kind of like, mm, it's cheesy but it was so good and the whole time I was reading it I was like I love this and I recommend that to everyone as well any person who's going through something who needs a little like pushing their little pep in their step read a good morning good night my favorite book on my favorite books of 2018 list is let it snow by John Green Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. This was such a fun book. I like have been trying to read Let It Snow for a couple years now because every like winter Christmassy time I try to check out like winter Christmassy time books. I never end up reading them so I finally got to Let It Snow just because maybe because of the reading goal thing like it'll push me a little bit and also because I just like have tried so many times to read this book but I finally read it and gosh it was so good. It starts out with Maureen Johnson's story with Stuart and Jubilee and that was really fun when I read the first story I'm like I can't get better than this it was like I'm just gonna read the next two and be like not as impressed as I was for the Jubilee Express but then I read John Green's part and <laughs> it was like so John Green and John Green does so good when he writes with other authors I Will Grayson Will Grayson is my favorite like was my favorite book by him because he did it with David and now it might be tied with Let It Snow because they were both so good. But it was so John Green-esque, just like even like the action scenes. I think John Green does really good action scenes. And not even like action, but like, like a chase. <laughs> 
It's like, this book was so funny. All three authors did good with the humor and the interconnectedness of all three stories. It was so fun to read, and I read it all by, like, a fireplace in my house, and it was so nice, and I loved the atmosphere of it, and it just made me happy. So thank you, John, Lauren, and Maureen. It was such a good book. Probably, it was definitely, like, made me laugh the most out of every book I've read out of 2018. So let it snow. Read that if you're in the mood for a fun, happy, humorous adventure, holiday, Christmas, love, romance, that kind of thing. It was so good. Okay, so that is all I have for today. I just had those six books and I talked really fast. I apologize for that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you read any of these books this year, which I mean you might have, you might have not, because some of them came out this year, some of them are like pretty old. So I'm Allison. You can follow me at AK and Books on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Please follow me. Please subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me. Please tune in next week and the week after that and the week after that. Please tell me what your favorite books were this year. I'm interested to know. Thank you for watching. I'm Allison and goodbye beautiful people.